All right, guys, we're going to jump into 2.7 and do some more calculations. So 2.7 talks about the future value. So you're looking at, okay, if I do this into my account, how much will I have in the future? And there are two kinds. There's a single deposit where you're only making one deposit at the very beginning. Okay, that has a specific formula. And then there are periodic deposits. Okay, periodic means you, you have a repeated deposit, like you're depositing the same amount every month or every year or every day, but it means you're repeatedly depositing into the account. And so each one has a different formula. So for the single deposit, your formula is balance of my account equals the principal of times 1 plus the rate divided by n to the n times t. Now if you'll notice, um, this b stands for balance in account. And if you'll notice, this is the same formula as compound interest. Okay, so this is the same formula we used in the prior section for compound interest. The only difference is they've used a B instead of an A. Okay, periodic deposits, the formula is a bit more complicated. So the balance in my account equals what I deposit times. Now I'm going to have one big parenthesis here and then I'm going to have a smaller set on the inside. And I'll help you enter it in your calculator today. 1 plus R divided by N to the N times T. Notice this part is this formula right here. Okay. All over the bottom, which is your rate divided by N. So this is going to be used for periodic investments. Remember, N represents quarterly, monthly, weekly, etc. Okay, just a reminder. So let's jump right in because I want to get as many done as possible with you. So number one, uh, Vincent deposits... $2,000 um, in an account, so $2,000 in an account that pays 2% interest compounded annually. How much, I'm using shorthand, how much in account at the end of five years. All right, so let's talk about, first of all, it says that he deposits 2,000. Here's my 2% interest, compounded annually, five years. Now, it doesn't mention that he ever makes another deposit. So I know that I, this is a single deposit. So I know I'm using this formula. So here I go. The balance equals P. Remember, P is my deposit. So P is deposit. So I'm depositing $2,000 times 1 plus my rate divided by 1, right? Because it's my rate as a decimal. Compounded annually means once a year, so n is 1, to the 5 times 1. Now, do we need the 1s? No. So this would be much easier if I entered it like this in my calculator. 2,000 times 1 uh, plus 0 0.02 to the 5th. Much easier. So that's how I'm going to enter it. Let me turn it on. So I don't know if you can see that. It's 2,000 parentheses 1 plus 0 0.02 to the fifth. Okay, that gave me 
$2,208.16. When it says round to the nearest cent, you guys, they mean like you can have cents. You know, like 16 cents. It's how you would say it. I have some of you rounding to the nearest dollar. You obviously aren't paying attention to where you should round it to. Next one. Um... Um, let's see here. One deposits seven thousand. The account pays zero point nine interest compounded semi annually. How much is in the account at the end? of two years. All right, so here we go. Let's highlight what's important. Okay, I have my deposit. Here's my interest rate, semi-annually and two years. Now semi-annually means twice, um, two times a year. So that means that N equals two. And I wrote those a little close together. And I apologize. So this is a single deposit. He only mentions depositing an amount one time. So my balance equals 7,000 times one plus, I have to make 0.9%. Um, I have to make that a decimal. So I move it over two places. So 0.009, N is two. And then I have two times two, right? Two years times n. So it's n, 2 times the t. So when I go to enter this, I'm going to enter 7,000 parentheses 1 plus 0 0.009 divided by 2 to the fourth. Okay, I'm not going to do parentheses 2 times 2. I know what 2 times 2 is. So 7,000 parentheses 1 plus 0 0.009 divided by 2 to the fourth. And I got $7,126.85. If you can put the comma in there, that would be great. All right, so moving on. Now let's talk about um, repeated. So these are repeated deposits. So Colleen is 15 years from retiring. She deposits $10,000 each year. The account pays 1.7% interest compounded annually. So part A, how much is it in the account in 15 years? Now, when I see this, deposits 10,000 each year, that tells me that that is not one time. If she does that every year for 15 years, this is a periodic deposit. So I should be using the second formula I gave you. So other important information, right? 15 years. Uh, here's my interest rate. Compounded annually would mean that N equals 1 because there's annual means once. So if I didn't write it on the previous page, this is how I'm going to fill it in. Parentheses 1 plus my rate divided by N to the N times T minus 1 over the rate divided by n. Now I'm going to show you how to break that down piece by piece in your calculator. So my p, my deposit is 10,000. I have 1 plus my rate divided by 1. I don't need the 1. To the uh, n times t would be 15 times 1, so 15, and then minus 1. And we probably don't need these, but we have to do these parentheses first, divided by my rate, divided by n. 
And again, I don't need to over one, okay? So the first thing I'm gonna simplify, I'm gonna start here. So that's what I'm gonna enter first. Okay, so using my calculator, one plus, whoops, one plus 0 0.017 to the 15. Okay, now I'm gonna take that and I'm gonna hit times 10,000. So I did that first. Whoops, I just subtract one, oh, my bad, sorry. So let me see that you can see this. I'm gonna do this part first. So one plus 0 0.017, and then I'm gonna take this to the 15th power. I'm doing it in steps. Now I'm gonna subtract one. Okay, so I have 10,000. I'm gonna keep as many decimals as possible, 2877. Um, and I'm gonna, now I'm gonna do that part, divided by, this just becomes 0 0.017, right? Divided by one is just 0 0.017. So I'm entering all of this first. Now I'm gonna simplify the top, so 10,000 times 0.2877 and I get 28.77 divided by 0 0.017, and I get 169,235.30. So that is what her account will be in 15 years, okay? Part B, how much interest did she earn? Okay, well first we have to figure out how much she deposited. She deposited $10,000 for 15 years. So her total deposits were $150,000 in deposits. So now I'm gonna take her total of 169,235.30 and 30 cents and subtract what she deposited and the difference will be her interest. So if I subtract this, I'm going to get $19,235.30. So she earned um, about $19,000 of interest. All right, moving on to the next one, and I need probably a bigger piece of paper. And I'll change colors, so number four. Sylvia wants to go on a cruise in five years. If she puts $50 into, wait, if she puts $50, Sorry. Each week into an account that pays 2.25% compounded weekly, how much will she have? in five years. All right, so first, notice it says um, she puts $50 a week, okay? So that tells me that this is a periodic because it's a repeated deposit. She's doing it over and over and over again. It also says we're looking at five years. Here's her interest rate, compounded weekly. Okay, five years again is down here. So, our formula, her balance equals, she's doing $50 times, in parentheses, one plus my rate, 0 0.0225 weekly. There are 52 weeks in a year. So, N equals 52. So, 52 
Up here I have 5 years times 52 minus 1 all over point zero, whoops, point zero two two five divided by 52. So remember, we're going to do the inside of our parentheses first. So do this, do first. So my balance equals 50. Let's simplify all that yellow stuff. So I'm going to put in um, parentheses 1 plus, sorry you can't see that, 0 0.0225 divided by 52, and then my exponent is 52 times 5. Okay, I'm going to subtract 1, and I get 0.119045. I'm going to simplify the bottom. So 0 0.0225 divided by 52. Whoa, 0 0.000433. The six rounds the two up. I would leave several decimals if you want this to be accurate on your homework. So um, I'm now going to simplify the top. So 50 times 0 0.119045. And then I'm going to divide that by 0 0.000433. And I get. $13,746.54. So she will have saved up almost $14,000 um, just by setting aside $50 a week. All right, I have two more that I'd like to do with you. And hopefully we have time because I have a Google Meets with you in just a little bit. So I think this is number five. All right, so um, we're just going to put, um, there's an opening deposit of 1250. I'm going to keep the information short. The account pays um, interest of 2.325% compounded monthly. I'm trying to use shorthand, so INT stands for interest. Um, he deposits um, twelve fifty every month for two years. So part A. How much is in the account at the end of the two years? Okay, so here we go. Balance equals our deposit. Parentheses 1 plus our rate, 0 0.02325, divided by, it says, um, compounded monthly. There are 12 months in the year, so n equals 12, so divided by 12. My exponent is 12 times the number of years and then minus one all over my rate divided by 12. So remember I'm doing all this first. And then I will simplify this second, okay? So let's enter that yellow stuff in the calculator. So parentheses one plus 0 0.0325 divided by 12 to the 12 times 2 is 24. Okay, I'm going to then subtract 1, so minus 1. So I have 1250 times 0 0.04755. Do this second. So 0 0.02325 divided by 12 and I get 0 0.0019375 and now I'm going to simplify. The top 1250 times 0 0.04755 divided by 0 0.0019375 and I got $30,677 and whoops and 42 
sense. Sorry. All right, moving on to part B. How much interest did she earn? So first we had to figure out the deposits. So for deposits, she did 1250 each month, so times 12, for two years. So 1250 times 12 times 2, she deposited $30,000. Okay, so her interest equals 30,607, her total, minus her deposits, and that equals $677.42. And yeah, that's not a ton of money, but it's free money, and that was only in two years. C, they want us to graph. So at the beginning of the account, you always start with zero, zero, and in two years, she earned 30, 677.42. So these are my points. So using a calculator, uh, gr uh, ruler, and I don't know where my ruler, oh, here it is. So you're just going to make up your graph, not make it up, but doesn't have to be perfect. So let's say I make this two. So that's one year, two year, three year. This is years, All right? This is dollars. So I'm gonna because this is almost a forty thousand. I'm gonna go ten k. K stands for thousand. Twenty k. 30, this would be 40,000. I'm just going to write K because that's what K stands for 1,000. Okay. So I have a point at 0, 0. And then we're going to estimate in two years, she had a little over 30,000. So I'm going to put her right here, and then I'm going to graph that. Okay, so I had a point here and here. Um, and so here's my graph, really simple graph. Part D, predict balance after one year. So looking at my graph, I am going to line my ruler up. Here's one, here it is here. So Let's see, halfway in between here would be 15,000. That looks a little bit over, so I'm estimating I'm going to say 16,000. Okay. All right, let's do one last problem. And we will be done. All right, so let's say I open a savings account. With $7,500, I plan to deposit same amount semi-annually. The account earns 1.975 interest that's also compounded semi-annually. So what is my balance? What is future value in 10 years? So um, this is not a single deposit because I'm depositing that amount twice a year. So um, this is my deposit. 
I'm depositing it twice a year. Here's my interest. It's compounded semi-annually. And they told me in 10 years. So my balance equals 7,500. One plus my rate. Semi-annually is twice a year. So N equals two. My exponent is 10 times two. And then minus one. All over my rate divided by n. So notice these two parts are the same. So what do we do first? We do this first. So I'm going to keep the 7500 and I'm going to enter everything in orange. So parentheses 1 plus 0 0.01975 divided by 2 to the 10 times 2 is 20th. Then I'm going to subtract 1 so I hit minus 1. So I've got 7,500 times 0.21717. Now I'm going to simplify the bottom, 0 0.019, whoops, 0 0.01975 divided by 2. And I get 0 0.009875. So now I'm going to enter this in my calculator, 7,500 times 0 0.21717 divided by 0 0.009875. Seven, five. And I get um, $164,939.24. Part B, um, write this as a function of x. So write as a function. So if I wrote this as a function where, um, where x equals time, and I don't remember if homework does, I would write this exact same problem, but I would um, my x would be the exponent. Everything else would remain the same. So how much interest was earned? Okay, well, I'm just going to shorten it. She has $164,939.24 minus she deposited $7,500 twice a year for 10 years. So um, $164,939.24 minus all her deposits, $7,500 times 2 times 10. And I get $14,000. $939.24. So I made $15,000 in interest. Um, D, graph this. So we always start with 0, 0, and I know that in 10 years I had $164,939.24. So using my ruler, So let's say I make this 10, so I always like to do this 5, and I'm going to go, this is almost 200,000, so I'm going to make this 100,000 and this 200,000, so this would be 150,000, 50,000. So my two points are 0, 0. And then 164, that's almost so, this would be 175, so I'm just going to estimate. Remember, we're just kind of guessing. So here's my graph. So in part E, estimate balance after five years. Okay, well, I'm going to use my ruler to line it up, and I'm going to hit right there. Well, this would be 75. That looks a little bit more. So I'm going to guess a little bit more would be 80,000. If you put 78,000, 79, 75, somewhere near 80. And that concludes that lesson.